Yeah. You, you saw the clip of the comedian here in New York who heckled and threw Harvey Weinstein out of her club. Basically. Yes, yeah. What, you think that was appropriate? What, you know, how do you think uh, it should have been You handled? know, I don't remember it in detail. Well, but, that's it. She threw him out. But it's fine. Yeah. If that's, her, that's her choice to what's be on stage. What's he doing there? And what's he doing there in a what's comedy club? What's he doing club? out in public? He, he, wear a he bed looked a hell of a lot somewhere. better. In that, <laughs> he looked a lot better in that comedy club than he does in this acting job he's doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. She just said, go wear a bathrobe somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Although when we used to work at Catch Rising Star, Rodney Dangerfield used to come in in his bathrobe. Yeah, Remember, he used to, with the bathrobe, used to show yeah. up in the bathrobe in the pajamas. Yeah. And then he wondered why he never got no respect. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, the thing about Susie, I have to say one thing. I mean, people think she's Susie Green in, in real life. She's not. People are constantly, oh, Susie's so sweet. That's what they say about you. I'm not she's that sweet. She's so nice. But it's just compared to the character, <laughs> it's such a juxtaposition that, that they think. But they, that. They, they ask you, don't they ask you on the street to call the the husband's names? Oh, all the time. They shove phones in my face. Uh, you know, I'm buying produce at Fairway, <laughs> which is going bankrupt, going apparently. Bankrupt. I'm not happy about oh that. God. And they say, shove phones in my face. It's my husband. Call him a fat you-know-what. <laughs> I get paid to do that. <laughs> I don't come to your job and say, here, do my taxes if you're an accountant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how, much of, how much of her is in Susie? Is the, in Susie Green? Oh, right. I've seen Susie Green come out every once in a while. Years ago, we were at uh, Club Green Street or someplace. I forget where it was, and the audience was hating both of us. They hated us. <laughs> and she, they were like a Jewish crowd, I think. Yeah. So she says to them, you want Shecky Green? Pay Shecky Green prices. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when, you know when I go, Susie Green, <laughs> customer service. <laughs> yes. You know, like the cable company that yes. you're on hold for like 100 Forever. years or what. That could really trigger me. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. The, thing I, about, the thing with your character and Larry's, because I just watched it again, is that none of the... No, nobody cares if anybody likes them on that show. Right. Nobody has to be likable. Right. Larry in particular, and you know, you're likable even though you don't care that you're likable. That's like just because you love me. No, it's true. <laughs> Your character is very likable because you tell those two idiots right, off right, all the time. Right. You know, so it's an interesting <laughs> thing. It's comedy. You just know? be but yourself I, and people will like that's you. That's true. And if they don't, who cares? And yeah. also, that gets back to what you were asking, Anna, about the, about the comedy club. Right. I mean, if you're a, if you're a comedian and your whole thing is to be likable, you're, you're, you're going to lose the yeah. audience. You're going right. to lose. You them. can't so, worry about you it. You can't worry about it. Same Dave thing Chappelle with Chappelle doesn't care at all. That's and right. He just the, all the funny, funny yeah. ones don't care. Yeah. Watch that for that. Thank you so much. Done. My hilarious <laughs> BFF, Susie Essman. The all-new season of Curb Your Enthusiasm here Sunday nights on HBO.